Hi, it's Kanoka, and I'm coming to you from my shop, the Second Floor Art Gallery. And if you've ever been here or to my website, kanokawagner.com, you might have noticed that I work in a large array of mediums. And one of those is metal. And my favorite metal is copper. I consider it the warmest of the metals. And what I mean by that is not only its color, but its pliability, and uh, when it gets this rich patina, it can just be stunning. And something about it says comfort to me. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, behind the scenes, how I make these works of art, these one-of-a-kind pieces from beginning to end. So enjoy. So I purchased large sheets of copper from a local purveyor, and after I draw my design out uh, on the metal, I use a pair of wire snips and um, I cut out my shapes. Of course you wear gloves because the edges can be really sharp. And I know I'm making this look easy, but my forearms are used to this. And after you have some shapes uh, cut out, uh, what I do is I clean it up. And the grinder is great for this. This uh, grinding wheel has a stone side and that will take off all the big burrs. Um, I do like the front of the piece and then the back of the piece. And then I'll take it vertically into the uh, wire wheel and that gives you uh, a really nice smooth, smooth edge to the touch. Now for some fun. We can hammer in the design. I use a collection of both found objects and handmade items to make my textures. All these peaks and valleys and divots uh, will really pop later when I put the patina on. Some pieces get another layer. So you do that in a traditional way, you flux, solder, heat, voila. Um, these are going to be garden stakes, so uh, you have to solder on the stake as well, and this, uh, the large copper moon has a hanger on it, um, so you have to solder that on as well, and you let that all cool down. And then the pieces have to be cleaned up. So you want to um, sand them with sandpaper or steel wool, whatever. And um, the reason why you do this is because then uh, it'll take the patina later. So here's some sanded pieces. Now, if there's areas that you want to keep shiny, uh, what I do is I paint on a, a gloss medium and um, and avoid those areas with the patina later so uh, but copper is great because later you can buff it up if you want so now the magic happens and so my patina solution is ammonia salt and white vinegar and what you do is you sponge it on in the areas that you want to be green and um, you wait 24 hours later, overnight, and you have a lovely green patina. Um, you, some things need, you punch a hole in for hangers, you wire them up, you can buff out the peaks to make the, uh, the design show better, and it's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
And if you want to find items like this, you can go to my website at www.kanokawagner.com or when we are allowed to have visitors again, please come and see me at the gallery, at the second floor art gallery. All right, much love. Thanks. Bye.